Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video will show you how to enter payments you see from a collections agency. Collections agency. So you have passed your invoices and you went through collection agency and somehow you got payment uh, from a collections agency. Okay. So I'm on home page screen here. Home page screen right here. Let's go to customers. As you can see here, I, we have a two overdue invoice right here these two 5,000 5,000 and I went through collection agency and you got payment okay how to handle that so the first thing you want to do is you need to create a uh, cus new customer that's for uh, your collection agency create new customer that's the first thing you want to do let's say the display name is uh, Alpine collection agency okay so save it okay we have a uh, Alpine collection agency in here right here okay right here okay so basically what we want to do is move this five thousand dollars from here to here and move this another five thousand Bobby Smith from here to here so Alpine collect collection agency you will see ten thousand uh, dollars balance there so what you need to do is you need to create journal entry I'm going to do a journal entry click plus sign here this is a create plus sign journal entry is right here okay so the debit is your collection agency because uh, we are uh, moving your AR balance from one customer to another. So select uh, accounts civil, which is this one here. Accounts civil. Is this one here? Accounts civil. Okay, and the debit is. Five thousand dollars, and another account receivable. Create also account receivable because both in the uh, account receivable balance. So now we need to select the uh, the name. Is the customer here? Okay, so you want to debit your Alpine name here. For the debit is your collection agency, and for the credit is your uh, your Adam Anderson here, your bad uh, uh, your bad customer here. Okay, so five thousand here. So it's basically moving these two uh, to uh, from Adam Smith, Adam Anderson to Alpine Collection Agency. Okay, so in John entry, we can say 12, that's the reference number, and you can put uh, Adam Anderson here, like this, like this. Okay, so that's the first one. I'm going to save this. Okay, so I'm going to save a new. So we can write a description here. Uh, overdue invoice from an Adam Anderson. Okay, so that's the first one. All right, the description, uh, you know, you may want to reference the invoice number. Uh, we can find out the invoice number here, actually.
Okay, the invoice number is 1042. So you can write down reference invoice number. Okay, that's the first one. All right, the second one, same thing. Account civil is debit, 5,000. Account civil credit, 5,000. De name debit is your collection agency. Name credit is your uh, customer with has to invoice. Okay, so in here, as you can see here, this guy is uh, has to invoice number 1043. So you can fill out uh, okay, so you can fill out a description in here. Invoice reference number is 1043. Okay, so we're going to save it. Okay, so now if you go to customer, go to home page, customer again. As you can see here, now moved everything to this guy. Okay, so now all we have to do is uh, receive payment in here. Okay, so this one is zero. If you go in here, Okay, it's, it's still say, saying overdue. We have to clear these two. Uh, we'll come back to that one in a minute. Okay, so 10,000 received payment. Let's go in here. Okay, and uh, so these two receive payment. And in here, the most important one is uh, you should send this to undeposited funds okay because of a couple of reasons uh, whenever it goes to collection agency uh, they have collection fee so you didn't get uh, ten thousand dollars deposited to your bank account uh, it's uh, probably a lot less let's say in this case they took 20 percent of your collection fee and they gave you eight thousand dollar check okay so undeposited funds so that's what you got to do. Save and close. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is go here from from the plus sign here and select bank deposit here. Bank deposit. Okay. So here's your ten thousand in here. So in here you can put the uh, check number, reference number, like this. And in here you can write down invoice numbers or whatever information you have. Okay, so let's assume you got $8,000 payment and $2,000 is collection fee. Okay, so in here, add deposit. In here, you got to select uh, uh, account. So you got to, in this case, I don't have a collections uh, fee expense account, so I'll create one here. Okay, this is the expense account. Uh, you can put it under bad debts or whatever you want that's okay so you just want to change this name to collections fee collection fees okay save and close okay and its reference it has to be negative so put the negative two thousand dollar in here now as you can see here the deposit is uh, you're going to select this one clear that account so it's deposited eight thousand dollars and we want to select the correct bank account let's say you went to chase checking account checking account and the amount is eight thousand dollars okay so the moment you save this it will add the amount to this checking account. So 
save and close I'm gonna do well save save and new just to see the balance should go up now okay save and new as you can see here the balance went up okay so the the bank account is done okay so now we need to go back to the customers pays and clear those those uh, uh, outstanding uh, uh, payments okay all you have to do at this point is just go to this account Adam Anderson as you can see here uh, it's saying overdue in here okay so all you have to do is go to receive payment although you didn't get payment you have to do the clearing here so Adam Anderson as you can see here it's in and out type this and uh, so the amount received is zero this is just to clear this invoice and the journal entry transfer so save and new so that one is done let's do the other one this uh, this guy here same thing so select invoice and select zone entry credit and save and new okay let's see what else is there uh, check this one to see if anything left this one is okay okay so now if you go back to here as you can see here you will see let's go to Adam Anderson uh, there's nothing overdue nothing it's all it's showing all paid right here it's all paid like this so this is what I want to see the status as uh, as paid status as paid as you can see here status paid here you want to see that one status as paid go in here see the status both paid I'll find collection both paid paid and closed so that's how you have to handle when you have uh, uh, payment received from a collections agency. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channels, VP Controller. We have two channels, VP Controller and New QBO. New QBO is strictly for QuickBooks Online. VP Controller is more for accounting type of. Uh, uh, videos. They also have uh, you, uh, the new uh, QuickBooks Online a little bit, uh, QuickBooks Desktop as well, and uh, and accounting. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com, QuickBooks QBO. Here's our website, newqbo.com. Well, I can show you our website. Here's our website, so you can visit our website and you'll, you'll find all kinds of good stuff here. Thank you. Bye.